made this product in Fusion 360, you can see that it is one body and that it has a hole through the middle of it. So to 3D print this, I want to go up to File, 3D Print. And here it's saying, select the thing that you would like to 3D print. So I'm going to select this body and I'm going to say, do not send directly to the 3D printer because I don't have a 3D printer attached to my computer. You can leave all the other settings uh, as standard. You should really be designing in millimeters, so the unit type should be millimeters so that it matches up. And when you are done, you click OK, and we can call this a cam, and you can see it exports as an STL file, and it's going to go to my desktop. If you want to save it somewhere else, you can click this button and save it somewhere else. So if you have Process Slicer, the software installed on your computer, and you double-click that STL file, my STL file is on my desktop, it opens it up in Process Slicer for you automatically. Next up, we need to come over here. If it's the first time we've used it, we need to set our printers. So we need to add or remove a printer, and we want to add or remove a preset. And the printer that I have access to is a Prusa i3 Mark III S and a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And if I click Next, I do not have one of these printers, so I can click Next. I'm not using another vendor, so I can click Next. I don't need custom print settings, so I can click Next. And I, all I really use is PLA, and I just use a generic PLA. So I wanna select None first, and then tick Generic PLA. And then this is about the updates. I'm going to click Next. This is the download location. I'm going to click Next. Next, here I should select advanced mode. That's going to help me with supports later on. So try to remember to click advanced mode and then finished. So you can see here now I have my product. I'm using the correct printer. I'm not using generic ABS. I'm using generic PLA. And here the quality I'm going to select is draft. So here are the settings that you should usually be using. Draft setting, generic PLA, Prusa i3 Mark III S. Now, the problem with my product is that I have this hovering section here. So I either need to create supports or I need to reorientate it on the plate so that it prints a little bit differently. The problem as well is I will need supports in the middle of this cylinder. So that's not ideal. For me, I need to think about the best way this is going to print from the bottom up that's going to give me the cleanest print. So if I click this button, if I select the product first, and then I click this, click this button here, it will reorientate my product on the plate on whatever surface I select. So if I select this surface now, you can see that it's flipped it up so that it's printing top to bottom in this orientation. Now. It's not going to print supports in the middle, I hope, because they're not needed because it's a straight circle out of the middle. But I will still need supports on this hanging section. So here I'm going to say add supports everywhere. And if I come to my print settings, I can come up here to support material. And the style of support that I would like is organic. Organic is easily the best type of support because it snaps off really easily and leaves the least amount of effort after you've printed. So if I come back here, my infill can be, you can see it's automatically set to 15. I can even go up to 20. It doesn't really matter. I'm using less plastic um, if I'm using only a, well, a 15% infill. I can even use a 5% infill. It uses even less plastic. But it really depends on what you're using your product for. So you can see it's added all of these green tentacles around the side of the product to hold up that overhanging section. So this is going to be useful. And here, if I'm happy with it, I can see how many hours it's going to take to print. And I can export the G-code, which is the file that we need to put into a 3D printer.
So I'm going to call, call the file cam. You should maybe put your name in the name of the file as well. And if you click save, you can see that's going to print in two and a half hours. So I transferred the G code file out of Prusa Slicer that was on my desktop onto this SD card using an SD card reader. If I put the SD card into the side of the 3D printer, you can see the file that I called it was CAM. So if I rotate this wheel down, I can select CAM. And if I push the wheel in, it selects that file and it will start to heat up the bed and the extruder to make sure it's ready to print. So when those two numbers are elevated, here and here to reach these levels it will start to print here you can see how long the print will take we have one little problem though we need to take care of the bed of the 3d printer before we start to print we can see that this bed is not straight and not even so there are guiding pins at the back here and if we take this magnetic plate off we can see now both of the guiding pins the plate is flat and square and it should be a successful print.